Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Pastor Shea, a.k.a. Chaplain G, coming back at y'all with another word of encouragement for today. So I hope everybody's doing well. Um, me and my wife, we spent the last couple weeks doing this fast. Um, and for those of you who may not be familiar, when you fast, it's, it's you simply giving up something that's important to you for the sake of getting clarity from God. So when people say they fast, sometimes they fast from food. Sometimes they'll fast from entertainment. There's some folks who got a Jones in for coffee. And so they'll, they'll fast coffee uh, for a period of time just so they can dedicate that time to reading the, reading the word, praying, just really meditating on the presence of God. They'll, they'll do all that because they really need um, to hear from God on a, on a particular subject. And so obviously me and my wife have been going through uh, this, these, all these decisions about um, the, the COVID vaccination and whether or not to get it and uh, trying to weigh through my convictions and everything like that. So we, we took the last couple of weeks to kind of just sit before God and, and pray. And during the midst of it, man, one of the words, God usually just puts something like super bold in front of us that, that we super cling to. And then he'll just put it in like multiple places, right? And so this time he put the word wait right in front of us, right? And it was, it was, it was popping up all over the place. Like people were, uh, they were like, I, you know, I'm praying for you, but I feel like God is giving me this word and it was wait. Or we'd be reading something and kind of like super out of context and the word wait would just kind of stand out. And so all those things, like we, we don't really believe in coincidences. And so we took that as communication from God to wait. And for those of you who have ever tried to wait on God to move, man, it's tough. It's tough because it's, it's not like the waiting makes all the decisions like less less there's no less angst if if you will like it, it's still it's still all right there and uh you know you know it's there you know it's just around the corner and god is just saying wait just wait and um taking that still been dwelling on it still been trying to get clarity from god on some things um but then as i was approaching the verse for today i came upon this verse and once again it's it's <laughs> It's right there. It's saying, it's God saying, wait, but check out how Peter, as, as he is, uh, as he's saying, wait, he's actually giving encouragement too, or at least I took it that way. And I hope you take it that way too. So this is second Peter chapter three, and it's going to be verse 14. Check out what this says. It says, therefore, beloved, since you are waiting for these things, and when he says these things, He's talking about since you're waiting on the return of Christ, since you're you're waiting on these days to come to pass when Jesus comes back, since you are waiting on these things, be diligent to be found by him without spot or blemish and at peace. So there's two things that I got out of that, right? The first one is when he says, be diligent, be diligent to be found without spot or blemish. Um, we can't cleanse our own spots. <laughs> we, we can't clean up our own blemishes, at, at least not in the way that Peter is describing. There has, there has to be a, a cleansing that goes on that comes from outside of ourselves. And so as I see that, as I hear that, I think what Peter is pointing to is regardless of what you're waiting on God to do, make sure you're checking your own soul. Make sure that the decisions you're making, make sure the, uh, the way you spend your quiet time, the way you talk to people, your thoughts and your actions, make sure they're without spot, spot or blemish. And the only way to do that is to have, is to pray that Christ would clean them up, man. It's to clean up our idle time, to clean up our computer surf, web surfing habits, to, to clean up how we talk to the people that we don't like, how to talk to the people we do like and that are in our family. Make sure you're cleaning up who, who you're spending time with, how you spend quality time with your spouse, 
how you spend quality time with your kids. Make sure Christ is like cleaning all of those things up. And he says to be diligent and making sure that they're without spot or blemish. That's, that means almost in every circumstance we're encountering in life, we're asking Christ to clean these things up. And, and Christ, when he was on the cross, he says, all of your, all of your crimson stains, because of, because of the death of Christ, because of his resurrection, he's able to make them white as snow. So Peter's saying, like, be diligent. Be diligent in making sure that all of those spots and blemishes are as white as snow. Keep checking in with God. Keep recognizing where something's dirty and needs to be cleaned up. So that's the first part, right? And then he said, be at peace. <laughs> Essentially, he's saying be diligent in being at peace. And uh, man, not only what we're doing while we wait for the Lord, but how we do it. We're not to run around like a chicken with his head caught off or, or like, a, like a kid with his hair on fire. We're actually supposed to be walking through this life at peace until we wait for Christ to come back. And the reason why Peter can say that is because he knows like your salvation is secure. God loves you. It's not like he's not going to give you the things you need. He's actually a, a heavenly father who loves you and knows exactly what you need before you need it. What more do you need to be at peace? And man, as I read that super conviction, because I, my soul is anything but, you know what I mean? And I'm having to continue to ask myself why. Is it because you don't trust God? Is it because because uh, you feel like you need to control all these things? Why can't you just be at peace with where God has you? And um, something that I'll probably continue to struggle through because I've got all kind of other stuff on my brain. But man, that, that goes into the prayer pile. God not only not only help me be without spot or blemish with the things I do, help me be without spot or blemish in the way I do them. Help me be at peace. Help me be at peace with every with every heavy decision, with every idle time, with every relationship, with every hard circumstance. Help me be at peace. And man. It's going to be my continual prayer for myself. It's going to be my continual prayer for all of you because I want that for all of you, that as you go through this life and, and things come up, to be at peace. And the reason you're at peace is because you know Christ has you. God hasn't forsaken you. And then one day you'll see him face to face. So that's what I have for today. I hope it's an encouraging word for you. It's a hard word for me, but it's also encouraging. Um, so please, if, if you like it, make sure to hit that like button, share and subscribe. All that stuff helps out the, the channel that we're trying to grow. Um, and I want y'all to know, man, I love y'all. man. I really do. Hope y'all doing good. And until next time, grace and peace.